and welcome to lockdown vlog number 27 another beautiful day in Rotterdam another day without rain yesterday at six o'clock I in the evening I posted the video about Ronald's uh, room tour and this morning it's now almost 10 o'clock in the morning and already over 270 views on this video for those of you who have been watching and commenting thank you very much and there was a comment I had on my last vlog where somebody because I asked you guys if this is something you would like to have your uh, system show on my uh, um, channel one of you guys asked me well does it have to be Gutenberg crazy and the answer of course is no um, you probably have seen all the Gutem Steve Gutenberg videos with his friends with the crazy expensive systems I love watching that but that is not what I am expecting of the people who apply so what I'm interested in is if you have a system that you really like, if you have a system that you really enjoy and if you know why you bought those speakers and why you compare, uh, paired it with that um, amplifier and why you are enjoying it and maybe something about your audio history, if that's something that you would like to share, then I would like to show it because just like you guys I like looking at the systems of other people's and maybe you remember the vlog that I showed you my girlfriend's system even if you have a system like that because that is a system that is perfectly matched with the person that is using it and that's what I'm looking for so if you want to apply uh, drop me a line and you do not in fact have to have a crazy expensive uh, system but if you do and you would like to show it well of course you're welcome um, so that about yesterday's uh, uh, video and vlog today you have seen me making some coffee with this beautiful thing the rocket espresso machine the R58 and I'd like to tell you something about this machine uh, today. This channel is called the Audiophile Barista, so we should have some coffee things in here. And I know a lot of you guys are here because of the Audiophile stuff, but don't just go away yet. This may be, uh, this may be interesting, and I'm not going to be too technical. Just a few little things why I like, just like I like my system, why do I like this thing? And the first question, of course, is why would you want an espresso machine? And the simple answer, of course, is well, because I like to make espresso. So why not just take a coffee machine like that? Well, a coffee machine like that makes filtered coffee, pour over coffee is what you make with something like that. And that is not espresso. In order for espresso is the method of making the coffee. So espresso means a lot of pressure and is used to push the water through the coffee. And a machine like this just uses gravity to let the water fall through the coffee into the carafe down below. So does only a espresso machine make espresso? Well, mostly yes, but there is something like this, and this is called the AeroPress. This is something that actually makes espresso. And if you are on holiday, this is what goes with me on holiday. If you like your espresso on holiday, because it's pretty difficult to take that one with you. But the AeroPress is something that will make an actual espresso. You push then down this which is pretty hard and that will make sure you get enough pressure to push the water through the coffee and make it an espresso now there's things like this the mocha pot people call this espresso but in fact it's not because the pressure is only about half of what an actual espresso machine will give you <coughs> 
Now let's talk about this machine. On top of the machine, over here, you have a big bucket where you can put in your water. And um, you can, no, I'll show you later. This is where you put your water. Over here, this is hot. This is what they call the cup warmer uh, spot. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it, but it already has a little bit of scratches on it. And of course I didn't like that. So that's why I used one of these things to put on there. So not to damage it any further. And then of course you have the rails in order to make sure your cups won't fall off. Now I'm living on my own, so I have one and in the weekends two cups of coffee, so they won't fall off and this thing um, doesn't prevent it from heating up because what is the air, the hot air coming out from here is pretty, pretty hot. Um, if you put your hands on it, this thing gets really, really hot. So if you go a little bit lower, there's these two knobs, this one which is for the steam ones, if you want to make your um, cappuccino, the milk. And this one is just for hot water, if you want to preheat your cup or for tea. You could use this for tea water. And in the middle, this is where the water runs through and it comes out on the bottom. You put a porta filter on here and then you make your espresso now the um the thing the special thing about this is that the water from the hot water boiler which is inside is running through this um i forgot the name but it is running through there so it keeps this part this is going to be really hot you can burn your fingers on on this one but it will help the water staying the same temperature during the transition from the boiler to the coffee right over here and then of course you have these two gauges one is for the boiler pressure and one is for the pump pressure and you can adjust all of that on the side over here this is a, well like a little remote you can plug it in to your machine you can change the settings for water temperature and uh, all kind of other settings. And if you have done that, you can take it off, but I just leave it on because it shows me the boiler temperature and I like to keep track of that. But you can set the boiler temperature the way that you want it. Well, then of course you have this thing, the drip tray, which is held in place by magnets. You can just take it off like that. it easy uh, to clean but in the middle over there this plug you can use it to wait well, let me just turn it around you can use it for a um, for drainage so you can plumb in your uh, machine so you won't oh, sorry about that so you won't have to fill it over there all the time, but you just um, connect it to the water supply that you have. And over here, then you have your drainage for it. So there is of course one thing missing right over here. And over here, if you look, because you need all your little gadgets for um, uh, operating this machine. So here you get this, booklet this is the manual from the machine and this is a really high quality manual this tell, tells you everything about your machine how to make coffee how to this is a really good manual um, this white foam was actually the foam that was in the box when i uh, received it and i thought well it does fit a drawer like this so i just put it in so over here I have my porta filter. This is what you put in there and later on you put in your coffee right over there. 
you tamp it. Tamping means you use one of these little things to uh, tamp your coffee. I don't know how, how else to say it. This is one that I bought for myself. This is one that came with the machine. And this is another one that I got as an extra in uh, with this machine. Normally, I believe this one is not in there. Or it is the other way around. I, I don't know. Um, these have three different heights. This one for me is too low. This is for me the perfect height. And this is too high for me. And why is that? Well, when I'm using this thing, what I want, I want to have my fingers right over here so I can feel if it is level with this thing right over there. Now, over, if I take this one, my, my hands are too low. If I take this one, my fingers won't reach it. And this one is just perfect for that. So that's why out of these three, I like this one the most. And I have this little thing that will help me to tamp down the coffee. Because, of course, when you have this thing and when you have coffee in there, what you do is you push it, uh, you push it in there to flatten it and that will give you the right consistency for the water to push through the coffee. It does need, it should not be too loose, it should not be too compact. Um, it should be just right. That's what the skill of the barista is. But there's also, because as you can see, this one has two outlets. And this one has one outlet. So if you have a cup, I have a cup over here. Let's just take this one. This will fill both of them at the same time. But for example, when you have a small cup like this, it might be, it may be just too too wide for it. So that's when you can use just one one of them, and it will fill up your espresso cup. Okay, so what else you get an extra what they call a steam tip, which is the thing that is over here at the end. It has, can you see that it has two little holes in it and these have just different sizes of holes. Whatever helps you to make the best milk that you can. There is one of these. This is a bucket for a one, uh, a single espresso. This is something that more or less nobody uh, uses. Most of you. <laughs> so over here, what you have is a measure cup. And what you see, um, single espresso, this line is a single espresso. And this line is a double espresso. So a single espresso is really, really a tiny little bit. And that's not what we are using. We are making it a double. Um, so what else is there to say? So this thing needs to be really warm in order to make a good coffee. So what I'm going to do later on. Oh, right. I was talking about this thing. If you have this one, you can put it down. Oh. If this one, you can put it down and tamp your coffee. But with this one, you cannot put it down because it falls down. So what you can do is there's this little hole over here. If you put it over there, you can just tamp it with your other hand. Now this one is closed. I mean, it doesn't have any holes in it. This one 
is perforated and this is of course so you can so the coffee uh, can go through the water which is now coffee can go through so why would you have a closed one well for cleaning so if I put this one in here I can do coffee nothing will come out but the inside over here is going to be cleaned and if you stop it will fall out right over there into this uh, container let me show you again I have the lever up and then there it goes and this helps to clean the inside of this from old coffee because that old coffee is ruining your uh, your taste okay now as you know my videos are uh, unprepared uh, unscripted but I hope I was clear enough I hope you understand that this for me is a thing of beauty that I like and when everything comes together the espresso and sometimes the cappuccino they are so good that this is really something to enjoy every now and then and sometimes people ask so you must drink a lot of coffee well not really maybe it's like listening to music you can have the radio on all day you can drink you know office coffee all day but then for just a few hours you just sit down and have a good listening session and it's the same with this you don't drink coffee all day but when you drink coffee you really take the time you enjoy it and you try to make the best espresso or cappuccino at least that's what i do i like to make the best espresso or cappuccino that i can so i hope you have enjoyed today's um, vlog and i'll see you tomorrow oh and the last thing is of course when i'm making coffee i have this wonderful view Okay, bye. See you tomorrow.